The Bloody Ape from Keith J. Crocker. Now I read the description in the unboxing, but in case you didn't see that, here we fucking go. The Bloody Ape is the most outrageous drive-in movie take on Poe's Murders in the Rue Morgue ever committed to film. A carnival barker foolishly releases his 400-pound gorilla, who then literally goes bananas on a rampage of raw rape and buffo butchery, leaving the low-rent population of Long Island either sexually violated, slaughtered, or both. From maverick indie filmmaker Keith J. Crocker, The Bloody Ape is a gore-soaked love letter to the sex and violence of the grindhouse movie era. <clears throat> that pretty much sums up the movie better than I can. Um, the flick was fucking awesome. I really had a good time watching it. Uh, the fucking gorilla was hilarious. I love how they call him a 400 pounder when he's clearly not. Uh, <laughs> the fucking rape was hilarious. Um, not as rapey as I was expecting the movie to be, though, I gotta be honest, but fuck, man, there's something about seeing a big, hairy, fucking gorilla-suited man trying to fucking grope and grab and fuck a chick. That shit was fucking dope. Um, the violence was fucking cool, too. There's one part where after the gorilla gets loose, he sees a guy pissing in a parking lot, and you see it through the perspective of the gorilla and the dude's dick looks like a fucking banana so naturally the fucking gorilla runs up and what's his name again yeah the gorilla's name is Gorto so Gorto runs up to the guy and rips his fucking cock off <laughs> shit was fucking hilarious um, yeah, like I said, the rape scenes are just as funny. Um, there's one where, like, they use shaving cream on the girl's ass to make it look like Gordo fucking jizzed all over her. Like, that shit just had me fucking rolling in my chair. It was fucking gold. Um, that same rape scene, uh, if you watch the outtakes... They actually had to stop filming because the actress that was getting raped couldn't stop fucking laughing while the gorilla dude was thrusting in between her legs. Like, goes to show you what kind of fucking movie this is when they have to stop filming because the person getting raped can't stop fucking laughing. It's just pure gold. It's, uh, when was it from? It was made in 1997. Fucking straight up SOV style fucking loved it um, I've got to watch Blitzkrieg still um, but you guys need the bloody ape in your fucking collection guys like I double checked the price of the disc it's 28 Canadian for, so for everyone else that's probably only like fucking 15 to 20 fucking dollars your currency so jump over to dark side Fuck, why do I keep forgetting their fucking website? The Dark Side Releasing website, and go fucking get it. I keep thinking it's Dark Side Productions. It's Dark Side Releasing. So yeah, jump over to their website, grab a copy. It's a, it's like, the price alone, just for the bloody ape, is fucking worth it. This shit is gold, and if Blitzkrieg is anything similar and I can't fucking wait um, Blitzkrieg I think was made what was it like 10 years later I think on IMDB it said it was a 2007 movie um, I can't recall 100% but yeah it's definitely after the bloody ape so it'll be cool to see how he's progressed in filmmaking and I hope it's still like SOV style the way Bloody Ape was because if the film wasn't SOV it would not have worked nearly as well um, 
And the fucking mechanics in this too, like, and the dialogue's fucking is is just the perfect blend of offensive shit for me to love it. So just go fucking get this, guys. Like. It was a blast. Now, even though there was a bit of a lull and a bit of a boring part in between the beginning of the end, like the middle it did get a little boring, but I still fucking loved it. And if you're an SOV fan and you're a fucking trash, sleazebag fucking fan, get this fucking movie, guys. You won't be sorry. Um, there are a few of my uh, viewers that I know from talking to them outside of YouTube and whatnot that uh, they definitely wouldn't like it, but for the most part, if you like older shit, get this fucker. Trust me. But if you only like the more modern stuff, you ain't gonna have a good time with it. If you need high production values and costs and shit, you ain't gonna like it. This is for the fucking true hardcore underground fans that can appreciate the shit done on a micro budget. Like, so if you're one of them and you love SOV and you love trash, get the bloody ape. There's my fucking review. Thanks for watching. Stay sleazy. Peace.